Well, good morning. What a beautiful Kansas City morning. I got a little bit behind in my yard work with all the rain that we've had and being away last week. So I'm going to get my little devotional done here and try to get some sprucing up down around the house. I like to keep the wife happy. You know what they say, a happy wife is a happy life. So uh, she'd like to see the yard spruce up a little bit and a little bit of work done around the place. Always something to do, isn't there? But it's always important to spend a little time with the Lord and with His Word. And I came to my study and I opened my Bible to Psalm number 44. And the very first verse says, We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days in the times of old. Well, we know that back years ago, God did some great things. And that isn't to say that God still doesn't do great things today, but when I read that verse, I thought about, you know, the only thing that keeps God from working now as he did then is our unbelief and maybe our disobedience. Maybe we're not really measuring up with the life that we ought to, that the Bible outlines for us to live, and certainly we cannot expect much from God if we're not doing our part in living for God. I often question New Testament Christianity and wonder if we really are as committed as what we ought to be as Christians in today's world and if we are as dedicated to spreading the gospel as we ought to be, I often wonder if our lifestyle is really compatible with New Testament Christianity. And you know, if we've taken a, a way that is displeasing to God, uh, I don't believe that God's going to do much for us. We know that Jesus went into a place and it was said after he was there that he could do, do no mighty works there because of their unbelief. And I think a lot of times we don't see God working today as he did back in the days of our fathers because of our unbelief. And uh, faith is important, isn't it? The Bible says that, that uh, without faith it is impossible to please God. And whosoever cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Another place we are told, as your faith is, so shall it be. And I have to confess sometimes that my faith gets a little bit bent. My faith is not always what it really ought to be. Oh, I believe that God can do anything. You know, I, I really believe that today. God can do anything but fail, as we used to sing. But do we really believe that God will do what we ask him to do? Do we really have the faith and the trust in God that we're going to see the hand of God working on our behalf? Now, I know that uh, a lot of times we pray and we receive not because we ask amiss that we might consume it upon, upon our own lust, as the Apostle James put it. And uh, if we ask selfishly, we know that God's not going to do anything for us. But if we ask from a pure heart, we ask from a pure motive and really believe, I think that we can see God working in our day as he did in the days of old. I grew up with a preacher daddy. And you know, he preached uh, uh, a lot of times about uh, things that he had seen in the past in his life. Back in the early days of his ministry, what great things God did. And, and throughout his life, he was able to testify of miracles that had happened and things that took place that uh, had to be the power of God at work. And, and I think about today, God still wants to show himself strong. Back to this, the Bible says God is looking for a people through whom he can show himself strong. So let's live right so God can work through us. And let's have faith so that God can use our faith to do what he did, perhaps in the days of old. We've heard with our ears what our fathers told us about all that you did in days gone by. God still wants to work in our day today. Heavenly Father, help us to live right that we might have faith. It's impossible, Lord, to, to really believe if we're not on believing grounds. And so we pray that you'll help us, Lord, that our life will measure up to the holy standard of God's word and that we'll be able to muster the faith that we need to see God doing great things in our day today. Bless us throughout this beautiful day of life. It's our prayer and we'll 
praise you for what it's done. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the Lord Life's devotional today, and we'll see you tomorrow on Lord Life's devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.